surrounded, vehicles stranded, and families left in the dark. Tonight, many Metro Detroit communities are coping with the serious effects of heavy flooding. The rain started last night, and it's been relentless ever since. In fact, the flooding is so bad in some areas, families can't even drive their cars. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich spoke with several very frustrated homeowners in Dearborn Heights. I'm walking through some of the shallow parts of this water in the neighborhood. A lot of the people can't even get out of their driveways. By 1 o'clock, some of the homeowners saying they had 4 to 6 inches already in their basements. So it's only a couple more inches before it hits the furnace. You can hear the worry in Russ Moeller's voice. Which is about a thick $6,000 bill. A springtime flood cost him $11,000 worth of appliances in the basement. This is the third big flood for them in 10 years. All of my possessions that were down there floated away. His biggest worry now is about his three children. I have to pick my kids up later. I don't know if I'll be able to get out. That's because three vehicles had already gotten stuck in front of his home. I kept giving it gas and uh, knowing that it's about to shut off any second. The flooded streets around Southfield and Outer Drive almost claimed Ronnie Eunice's Taurus as number four. I was trying to make it and my, my car started shaking. By midday, Harold's towing had pulled out six cars that had been halfway submerged in water. They have water over the front seats. Harold Martin drove us around the worst parts of the waterlogged neighborhood. I've seen pe people waist deep trying to walk. People like Teresa Slocum and her son. I'm actually right here at the first street on Universal, and I'm four houses down. So I'm actually in the middle of the block, and it's flooded. Their home, like at least 50 others, surrounded by water. And the only way out is to walk through it. The water's all the way up to her front door. It's horrible. And this isn't even the worst of it. A lot of the people living here worried. What if this turns to ice tomorrow when that colder weather comes and brings that wet snow? In Dearborn Heights, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.